Hello everyone, Robert here. And as much as you guys probably heard in the news, Apple is actually in a battle now with the FBI and the government. And basically, if you haven't heard this story before, this happened along uh, the case of those brutal attackers, the sort of terrorist couple in San Bernardino, California, where they went in and they killed 14 people. Well, one of those attackers apparently had an iPhone. And as you know, unlike other devices, iPhones are very secure and they're very encrypted. So there's no way to actually get into the iPhone unless the actual owner uh, does it themselves. Because basically Apple has put in those encryptions so that if you don't turn off certain features or you don't use your passcode, you really can't hack the device itself. So now the FBI and the government is pushing Apple to unencrypt this device so they can get in. And this poses actually a lot of issues. For one, basically all of us owners of Apple devices, Apple does this to that one phone. What's to say the FBI and the government's not going to do it to us? Now they have access to get into iPhones and iPads and Apple Watches and everything else. Why don't they just go and spy on the rest of us? Why don't they go and find our information? Get all our stuff. So it's a big battle that Apple's having between the government and the FBI. Now, not only am I for Apple against this, because I want to protect my information, but there's a lot of other big companies. Facebook, Twitter, uh, WhatsApp, a lot of billionaires out there are all supporting Apple on this decision. Because I believe in this day and age, with this tech, our information it has to be secure some way. Now, I'm sure there's going to be another way they can find the information off this iPhone without actually having to give the FBI or the government the secrets to get in. That's just something that we're going to have to figure out. I'm for Apple being against that. Now, I don't know about your opinion, what you guys think about this case, because if you look at the other side, well, why don't criminals all get iDevices? They can go do their crimes, and then, of course, the government and the FBI can't go and hack into their devices, right? So that's another thing that we got to figure out here. So, I believe as far as this case goes, Apple is right. Apple should keep the devices encrypted. That's for sure. So, I wanted to give you guys that information, see what you guys think about it, and uh, let me know anything you got in the comments. You know, are you for Apple on this? Are you for the iDevices to be secure? Or not? And so, uh, I wanted to give you guys the information, let you guys know what's going on with that case. That's pretty much what I got for you guys today. So, if it's your first time here, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe. That way you get more of my uh, content as they come out. Thank you guys for coming out and watching. Alright, appreciate it. We'll see how this case goes.